Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey. I'm a full-time photographer, photographic educator, and recently I was out doing a location shoot with birds of prey and a model. And in this video, I'm gonna share my three top tips for getting great location portraits. My first tip is to plan ahead. Is there a theme? Is there a style to your photo session? If there is, they need to be accounted for. Now we had a real vintage theme for two different looks. Next is gonna be the location. If you can get there ahead of time, even if it's just by an hour, you'll get the time to location scout, choose the best spots to work in and have a plan B in case it rains. And then finally, there's the gear. Does it need to be portable? In our case, it definitely did. So we used this Manfrotto kit. And in fact, with all of this kit, I was able to set up two different locations with five completely different backgrounds. That's the sort of flexibility you need from your kit on a location shoot. Tip number two is to know your kit. And I mean really know your kit, especially if it's something new, something you've not used before. For example, do you know how to put this soft box together? Can you do it under pressure with people watching you? What about the backgrounds? You can pop a background up, no problem at all. Can you pop it down as quick? Do you know how that works? Knowing all of this stuff is gonna make you feel more confident and look more professional. And with that in mind, you need to know the limitations of your kit as well, because not every piece of equipment can do every single job. The Manfrotto Easybox Octa is a large one. You might need something smaller. Do you need to go all the way down to your subject's feet? In which case the collapsible vintage backgrounds may not be the best choice. And then of course there is the safety aspect. With that in mind, I always like to bring plenty of sandbags. Yes, they're heavy and a bit awkward, but they are well worth it because you don't want anything to get blown over or knocked over. If you are using sandbags, make sure that they are not actually touching the ground because if they are, they're not doing their job properly. So my third tip is to watch the clock because time when you're on location will go past in a flash. And if you have multiple locations to be working in like we did, we had two different looks, then you need to make sure you don't spend too long on the first look and then you're rushing your second look. But if something isn't working for you, if it's just not coming together, if the lighting isn't right or the location doesn't work, stop. Don't spend forever trying to fix a problem when you have more things to go and photograph. For example, we had this really great idea where the owl would fly and land on the hand of our model, except the owl had other ideas. And rather than waste time trying to get that one photo, the best idea was just to forget it, move on and try something else. And then finally, there is the time it takes to use your gear because things like the Halo Compact Plus go together really quickly, but it's also really quick to take down. And that matters because you wanna spend as much time as possible taking photos, particularly at the end of the session when it's all going so well. And if it packs down really quickly into a really small box, you can spend the least amount of time carrying it back to your car. And that can make all the difference. And the great thing about the Manfrotto kit is it's quick to put up, it's fast to take back down, it fits into really small boxes, making it super portable. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.